Hey guys, Phil here, hope you're all well. What you're looking at in front of you is my fully working Sega Dreamcast. Uh, there's nothing wrong with this, it works perfectly fine. However, I am starting to get a, a noisy fan. So in this video, uh, what I want to do is the Noctua fan mod uh, and basically put a quieter fan in this. Now, this Dreamcast is 100% stock. Um, however, it does have the region free BIOS if I power on you'll see that uh, with the boot. Uh, you'll also notice it's got the orange swirl uh, and that's because I changed the region to US. Uh, it's got the blue swirl on the case uh, which indicates it's a PAL uh, but you saw it had the orange swirl. So yeah that's what I'm going to do in this video. I'm going to install a, a quieter not to a fan. So if you stick around I'll crack on with that. Now to get inside the Dreamcast, there's four screws we need to remove. But first, I need to take out the actual modem. It's very easy, push down on this clip and you pull it out. And you'll see there's a screw just here. There's one here. There's one here. And the final one is here. Remove those, flip it over and you'll be able to take off the top lid. Now I need to get the controller port out because that's when the fan connector is because I want to replace it. Um, but before I can do that, I need to remove the power board. Uh, now here's a top tip guys, uh, without it powered, uh, turn the console on uh, for a few seconds. That will drain uh, the capacitors uh, that are on the power board. So I'm going to power it off. Now to remove the power board, I need to remove this clip here. If I turn it around a little bit, uh, you'll see there's a screw just here, there's a screw just here, and then you grab it by this end where this connector connects the power board to the actual main board underneath. Uh, you pull this off the connector and then you can take out the power board. So I'll go ahead and do that and then come back. That's the power board removed. Uh, what I want to do now is quickly remove the fan and it's housing it's very easy uh, there's a screw just here uh, there's a screw just here uh, if I remove them I can lift the fan out and then what I need to do to get the actual controller port out uh, is take out this ribbon here it's very easy it's just push fitted I might as well do it now there you go it's out just pull it out like that and there's four screws there's one here there's one here there's one here there's one here, remove those and then I can take the old other controller port out. And that's the controller ports and the fan out. What I want to do uh, is trying to do this one handed now, this is going to be fun. <laughs> remove the, there you go, pretty easy. Remove the fan. Uh, now, the next thing I want to do uh, is fire up my soldering station and I want to remove this connector here so I'll go ahead and do that and then come back and that's the old connector removed from the controller sub board uh, what I'm going to do now uh, is show you the parts you need uh, to do this mod Now to perform this mod, you're going to obviously need some new parts and I'll go through what you need. The first thing you're going to need is a, a, a new fan, a quiet not to a fan. Um, the part number is NFA4 times 10. Now this is the important part. Make sure you get the 5 volt version. There is a 12 volt version of this fan. Don't get that. It's not going to work. You need the 5 volt version. Uh, the other parts you need are some uh, 3D printed parts. Uh, the first part is a new fan shroud uh, that helps you connect the fan uh, inside the Dreamcast. Uh, the second part is the lid hook that hooks the lid and the lid catch that uh, helps you eject uh, and open the lid. Now the reason you need uh, these two new parts uh, is because this is actually a little bit bigger than the old shroud uh, and it can file the actual lid catch. So. Uh, you have to replace the the old of the lid catch 
mechanism. Um, now don't worry if you don't have a 3D printer, um, you can actually buy this as a kit on eBay. Now I have a 3D printer so I printed these out. And the final thing you're going to need is a, a 10k resistor. Now what I've done now guys, uh, in the next part of the video is, you'll see me printing these out on my 3D printer. Uh, and it's just a quick time lapse video, that's all. If we take a look at the, the new fan we're going to install, uh, there's two parts we need. Obviously, we need the fan, and we're going to need this um, three pin extension cable. Uh, the rest we can put to one side because we don't need it. Now, the reason I got the extension uh, for the fan um, was because I want to repopulate one end of it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to chop the end off with my side cutters uh, and then come back. I've cut the end off the connector I need. I've stripped and tinned the wires. Uh, time to get this connected all up. What I've done is I've put the 10k resistor uh, into the place where it needs to go. Um, I've done that before I actually put the wires in because obviously I want to solder this all as one uh, in, instead of you know putting this in and then trying to solder the resistor one afterwards. Um, so yeah uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to solder this all together uh, and what I'll do is I'll put a, an image up and show you how you actually wire this in.
and that's the new connector all wired in. What I want to do now is mount the fan to the actual fan shroud slash mounting bracket. Uh, now to do that I need to know which way the fan uh, is spinning uh, and which direction the airflow is. Now if we take a look at the fan uh, you can see there's an arrow pointing up which tells me the fan blades are going this way like this. Uh, now if we look right next to it there is a, another arrow pointing in that direction which tells me air is being pulled from this side and pushed out from this side. So this is the way the fan needs to go in a Dreamcast because the Dreamcast has a pull-push fan. It pushes air out of the Dreamcast. So this orientation is the right way. And that's the shroud mounting bracket connected to the fan. As you can see, I put the Dreamcast back together. Time to power this on and hopefully we get a working fan. And hopefully you can see that. Uh, as Lewis Rossman would say, well, we've got fan spin. <laughs> and it's asking me to set the date and time that's because I've had the board out with the backup battery on there uh, so it's forgot the date and time what I want to do now is remove the old lid catch uh, now to do that it's very easy uh, remove this spring I remove this screw remove this screw and I'll be able to take out the old catch uh, and then I'll install the new one so I crack on with that and then come back That's the old lid catch removed, new ones installed. Let's get this Dreamcast put back together. And the Dreamcast is all put back together. Let's power on. And hopefully we've got a super quiet fan now. Go. Dreamcast booted uh, and I can just barely hear that fan um, it is a lot lot quieter than the uh, old one So yeah, there you go guys, hope you like the video, if you do, please give it a big thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe, all the usual stuff, and as always, I'll catch you on the next one. Yay, super quiet. <laughs> catch you next time guys.